Hi guys, this is Maluche and welcome back to Dauntless News. The patch notes for 0.5.13 are out and it's bringing in a good old behemoth that's gonna be released into the maelstrom. So let's have a look. So patch release OB 0.5.13, let's take a look. Introduces a Rockfall Skarn, new gear and a stylish new main menu. The patch is rounded out by bug fixes and balance improvements. New to Dauntless, new dire readier weapons Rockfall Skarn has arrived in the Maelstrom. So Skarn is the uh, is a reptilian uh, behemoth that actually uh, like uses rocks around his entire body uh, to well to protect its parts. Uh, I always find it like you can get a lot of broken broken rock parts but to get actually to the legs and such it's always been a little tricky. So I'm really really looking forward to how they are gonna fix him and which abilities. Well um, usually the abilities just have an advanced stage of, of, of the ability so I'm really looking forward to to looking how they uh, actually fixed him up and how difficult he is going to be now that he is in the maelstrom. Is he still going to stand up? Is he still going to give us that little perk where he shows us his belly and we can knock him out? Is he still going to ball up like a little like a little grenade and then like throw rocks to the side with his legs and his head? Um, so really, really looking forward to uh, watching his uh, abilities and moves uh, tomorrow. A new cell, grant your nearest ally a portion of any shield you have applied to yourself with a guardian cell. Ooh. Grant the nearest ally your nearest ally. So it's one person. Ah, that's a little sad. I, I kind of like the, the repeaters were the first actual uh, weapons or thing that had like... They had a group buff, and I'm really, really a fan of group play, of, of group buffing. So it was would be really nice. New cell, grant your nearest ally a portion of any shield you've applied to yourself with Guardian cell. So if you do mid 6 and you get a 300, 300, was it, overshield? That overshield should be, a, be applied with Guardian sh uh, cell towards your nearest ally. So you yeah, definitely need to check out that one. Uh, new weapons, armor, and prisms. Again, new weapons. I'm not. I'm not ready with all my upgrades for my weapons yet. We're getting new weapons again. So harness the raw power of the rockfall with powerful gear. New stone heart prism for your repeater. So getting a new prism, and then yeah, of course, new new armor and new weapons. Really looking forward to seeing which perks they have. But yeah, we'll go over that in the next episode, of course. And then quality of life. Slayers will now have a choice of two weapons in just one. What? Ah, in the Weaponsmith daily and weekly challenges. Crap! I was thinking, really, can we have guns and pistols while we fight the behemoth? That would be amazing. Guns and pistols are the same. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, uh, you could have your repeaters on your side, but your axe in your hand, something like that. Holy hell, that would have been a game changer. But yeah, Slayers now have a choice of two weapons. I've got a little too excited over there. Instead of just one in the Weaponsmith daily and weekly challenges, uh, this chance gives the Slayers more flexibility and a more opportunity to use preferred loadouts. Uh, this is also in line with the quality of life changes we had last week where the quests changed for a uh, specific one behemoth to like Umbral, Damage, Slay, Riftstalker or Shroud. So this is basically more, more in line of the, uh, the changes we had last week. Uh, fixed a bug that could cause blocked players not to save to the block list. I have no idea what they mean with this. If you guys know, uh, yeah, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, party invites received during a cinematic will queued for later interaction. Okay. Dice applied to the eyes on the shroud hood now result in a more visible color change. We speak mathematical, mathematicals and build. Fix the bug that prevented some players from claiming their free recruit die bundle. Okay. Blitz tectonic buff icon will no longer be overridden when using Drask, Lantern and vice versa. That's really good. That's that's uh, that's a really good change. 
Players will see their elemental status effects on Skarn rock, rocks as well as its body. Improved the reliability of Tragic Echo triggering if it's available. Fix the bug that could cause Maelstrom expeditions to encounter heroic razoring instead of standard razoring. So, are they are they saying that when you can do a regular Maelstrom, or is it that in heroic expeditions that you only got a standard razoring? Oh, no, no, no. So in the regular... Okay, I was reading it completely wrong. So in the regular Maelstrom, um, you had a chance... Well, there, there was there was a bug that would give you heroic wazering instead of standard wazering. Haven't, haven't got the slightest idea when if that ever actually happened to me. I always killed it. Uh, made it so that the exploration music won't be interrupted by combat music if one of your huntsmates starts the battle. You do boo-hoo-boo. Okay. <laughs> the main menu has undergone a complete rework. This is ongoing work, so please let us know if you run into any bugs. Okay, fix the bug that could cause eyes and eyebrows to disappear on transmogging helmets. So visual bug. Some bugs that prevent the daily and weekly challenges from giving credits for defeating behemoths. Okay. Fix the bug where damage numbers shown to the players were correct, but the damage actually being dealt was less than intended in some circumstances. Yeah, that's not that's not good. We want to have accurate damage. Fix the bug that could cause a prismatic race, Resikiri's exotic helm, to trigger improperly after being downed. Uh, that's a good one, because um, to trigger improperly after being downed. I know that it sometimes didn't work even if you were downed, like the first time that it actually automatically protects you. You could still go down the first down, first time and then not get it afterwards. Um, so yeah, uh, they, they basically gave it a fix really good. Yeah, I'm not really using it anymore. Uh, fix the bug that it caused parts of the swords rising element combo not to do damage. Really good fix there. Add a new FX that triggers when Aether Shields pop. Fix the variety of bugs that could cause sounds to get stuck in a loop. Really annoying if that happens. Fix the bug that prevented wounded Rift Stalker parts from taking damage. Ooh, that's good. Fix the bug where the Armor Smith reputation track would not grant retroactive experience for the armors that were crafted prior to unlocking it. How can you craft it if it's not unlocked yet? Yeah, um, basically, if you had it already and uh, it didn't give, uh, it 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 should have given experience. Um, although, okay, so it should have given. Uh, yeah, it's gonna give you experience right now. I'm losing words. I'm 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 constantly thinking what uh, Scarn is gonna do. Uh, fix the bug that it cause shrouds Aether Realm to show for other players in the party. Hmm, isn't isn't Shrouds Aether Realm something you're all stuck in? Like you all have your own little bubble? Okay. Wound health bars for Behemoth's parts are now scaled by 40% per additional player from down from 66. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, this should make wounding f uh, parts in four slayer groups about 35% easier. Uh, fix the bug that caused Maelstrom Behemoths to have more health when fighting in groups. Isn't that logical? Maelstrom Behemoths will now have around 7% more health when, fight, when fighting solo and 8.5% less health when fighting in group of 4. Wait... So they're gonna make it harder for solo players, uh, giving the behemoth more health, but in a group they're gonna give it um, 8.5, they say, but it, I, I, I suppose it's gonna be percentage. 
more health. Uh, wait, I'm gonna read that again. Fix the bug that could cause be maelstrom behemoths to have more max health when fighting in groups. I always thought that uh, behemoths always get more HP while in a group. Maelstrom behemoths will now have around 7% more health when fighting solo and 8.5 less health when fighting in a group of 4. For heroic fights, 4 slayer behemoths will have about 15% less health than previously. So the heroic fights are gonna be a lot easier, the, the behemoths are gonna die way faster. But then in addition with uh, that the wounding is actually lowered as well, this should make the entire experience for heroic a lot easier actually. Our goal is here to fix bugs and ensure that players with friends make the game easier and more fun. Grenades will now bounce off and land near Rezekiri's prism instead of going straight through them. Kinda makes sense. And the area of effect attack entered in, centered inside Rezekiri prism will now correctly deal damage to the prism. Okay, that's also pretty good. Okay, so... The biggest change I can see in here, well, except for the new behemoth, is then, yeah, um, heroic fights are gonna be way easier. Uh, as far as I can get it, tell it, because uh, wounding now should be way faster. So getting parts in heroic should be way faster. Um, and then, yeah, 7% more health when fighting solo. That's kind of a strange one. And then, yeah, new dire radio weapons, Rockfall Skarn. So, yeah, looking forward to that fight, uh, seeing what he has. Okay, so that wraps it up for the patch notes for this week. Really gonna look forward to, uh, well, I'm recording now before I go to work. So basically after work this evening, I can record tomorrow's episode uh, most likely. Uh, and that's gonna be the Skarn fight. So if you look at the map, uh, Monstrous Verge, and then we're gonna go Pursuit. We have Skarn, uh, Reptilian Behemoth that can manipulate raw Aether to armor its own body with stone. More than mere protection, the Skarn can use these hunks of rock to batter foes to death. So yeah, he's gonna be able to rock, rock fall Skarn, it was called. He's gonna be able to uh, be found in the Maelstrom starting, well, I, I presume starting this evening around 8 or 9 while I'm still at work. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys already enjoyed the fight. I'll be recording it a little later than anticipated, but yeah... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.